Hey guys! So apparently the month of February ended, it came and it went, and I don't know what was going on, but I literally didn't even notice that the month ended. I almost forgot to do a favorites video, so sorry this is a couple days late. Life has just been so crazy lately, I literally didn't even notice that it was March already, so sorry, but here are my February favorites! So, as you guys saw earlier this month, I went to a NYX party in January, and I got a ton of NYX stuff, and one of my favorite things that I got from them that I have been loving a lot this month is this CC cream. It's a color correcting CC cream, and this is the green one, which neutralizes the appearance of redness. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have a lot of redness in my skin naturally, so when I just want to like run out of the house, like if I'm going to take a workout class, or if I'm having I mean, especially red skin, I will throw this on underneath my makeup, but this really corrects the redness in my skin. It makes it look smoother and more even. It gives it a little bit of coverage, but it is green. It's not like a normal CC cream, that skin color. It is green, but like obviously when you put it on your skin, it doesn't look green. It blends in, but I've really, really been liking this. If redness is an issue for you, I highly recommend this because it just like totally corrects all the redness out of my skin. Okay, then from my Try It Out Tuesday, I tried the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and Powder and I have just been really loving both of these products. They were $5.99 from the drugstore, $5.99 each, and they really do keep my skin matte for a really long time and actually make my skin look poreless, which is kind of amazing, and I just love the way it looks. It looks so soft and smooth and flawless when I apply it, so I've been really impressed with this, and anything that keeps me matte for a long time, I automatically love, so these were big winners for me this month. Then something else I got from the NYX party is this HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana, and I have I've seen a lot of my favorite YouTubers set their under eye area with banana powder or like a yellow powder. I have really been liking this for my under eye. I think it really brightens the under eye area. I also feel like it has helped my concealer from creasing and just like sets it in place longer. So I've really been liking using this. I used it today. So if you think my under eye area looks nice and bright, it's because I used this banana powder. Then um, one of the things I got from the Tarte video that I did was this Tarte Gifted Mascara. I I have really been liking this. It does a really good job of lengthening and separating my lashes. It makes them look really long. It stays on all day long. So I've just been really liking this and I love the packaging. Then I rebought this. I think I've had it like twice in the past, but I always lose them or they break or something. But this is the Hot Tools 1 and 1 4 inch classic clamp. This just curls my hair really, really well. It lasts a long time and it's just so easy to use. So I've just been really liking this. I was using a wand for a long time, which I like too but this just like makes my hair look smoother and like more effortless like how I have today I know the clamp isn't as good for you as the wand but it just is so easy to use and I just really like it it's a classic so had to rebuy that again and I've been loving it okay then something I'm really excited about is my new vlogging camera this is a Samsung NX3000 and I it's really good for vlogging because it has a little flip camera like this and it's really good quality and it's really cool because it has this feature where I can sync it to my phone and send the pictures I take on here to my phone so it's like easy to post on Instagram and stuff and I just love it because it's white and I think it's so cute and I have just been obsessed with this and Austin got this for me for my birthday this month so he did a really good job. I love it so much. Then I have been wanting new workout shoes for a while now. I especially have been wanting like a more neutral one because the ones I have now are just like bright turquoise so they kind of clash with some things that I have. But workout shoes are really expensive so I've been waiting to find a good pair at a good price and I found these Nikes at Nordstrom's Rack and they are just black with like white and then they have like a little bit of chevron print around here. I don't know what kind of Nikes these are. I guess it says the Nike Flex. So maybe that's what they are. But I got these for like $40, I think, at Nordstrom's Rack. So it was a great deal. And they're super comfortable. Like, seriously, the most comfortable shoes in the world. And I just really like the way they look. They're really sleek and simple, but they still look cute on. And it just goes well with, like, any kind of workout outfit combination that I've got going on. So... I've been obsessed with these. Then something else that's kind of new to me that I've been obsessed with lately is gel manicures. I know people get gel all the time and every time they ask me if I want a gel I would say no because it's more expensive and I heard it's really bad for your nails. But it lasts so much longer and it just like looks so good. I've had this on for like three weeks now and I still think it looks really good and it hasn't really chipped at all. 
and I'm just obsessed with gel manicures even though they're more expensive they're just so worth it because I just love the look of well polished nails and I can just get it done and it lasts me like for a really long time and yeah I've just been really liking it. Then I found this new app. My friend showed it to me. It's called Bitmoji. And you create a character that looks like you. And then it has all of these options that say like really funny sayings that you can like text people. And I just think it's really funny because it literally does kind of look like me, I think. And then just like some of the phrases and the faces that the little emojis are making are so funny. So I highly recommend downloading it and making a character that looks like you because I think it's really funny to send people things like this. Like YOLO and ha 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 but it's just like funny to see like a cartoon version of you saying those things instead of just like texting them I don't know I've been having a lot of fun with that and then something else new I got this month that maybe you guys saw on my Instagram or maybe you've noticed in a video is a tattoo yes this is my first tattoo and it looks crooked when I turn my hand like this sorry but it just does it doesn't look crooked when I look at it and that's all that matters because I got it for myself to see and yeah this is my first tattoo. Um, I've been wanting it for a really long time and I'm really happy that I finally got it because I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to do a blog post soon just talking all about it, my experience with the tattoo and why I got it and everything like that. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, those are all my favorites. I'm really sorry. I feel like I didn't post a lot in February, but there has just been so much crazy stuff going on in my life that I've needed to pay attention to. But I'm really excited because starting next week, I am making YouTube and blogging my full-time job. So I just posted a new blog post on my new blog, which is dannylauren.com. You guys should go read it. And starting next week, I'm going to be posting on there regularly. I'm going to be posting videos regularly. I'm just going to go in, jump and do this all full time, which is really exciting. So yeah, I also this month is going to be me and Austin's six month wedding anniversary, which is so crazy. I can't believe it's already been six months that went by really, really fast. So I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like a relationship, marriage, Q&A. So if you guys have any questions about relationships or marriage that you would like to hear me and Austin's opinion on please leave them down below or you can send me them on Instagram Twitter Facebook just hashtag ask the Smiths and yeah I will try to answer them all in my Q&A video that I will be posting in a couple of weeks let me know if you guys have any other video requests I love you guys a lot and I'm really looking forward to March I hope you guys are too thanks for watching I love you bye